Moving on to the eighth on the programme. Second last, of course, with the nine races uh, to look at uh, on Thursday night. This is a Class 3, so the final two races are Class 3 contests. 1,200 metres is the trip. Field headed by Kinder Call, cool. Frankie Lord, Zach Pert and Barrier number three. He's already won two times this season, run up to Wind and Grass last time out. Al Kari's coming out of that Wind and Grass race as well. He finished in third. Captain Tiger makes his Hong Kong debut. He was a winner out of uh, South Africa. We've got uh, Aurora Pegasus, uh, first up since the start of March. Wine and Wine hasn't done too much in his three starts so far. A Nordic Warrior, who's a winner at uh, the top of Class 4, two starts in Class 3 now. He's run fourth on both occasions. Kind of cool, the only one of these. Tommy's been up at Chung Fan the last month. Again, not really a clear and obvious leader in this uh, contest. Uh, wine and Wine has been handy in a few runs. Maboob has been there or thereabouts to the pace as well. Kind of cool. Then you've got uh, California Concord to there, drawn gate number two, Antoine Hammer with the ride there. Aurora Pegasus, uh, fighting star. El Kari will get back as to Nordic Wells. So, and Captain Tiger likely to get back as well, the uh, newcomer from what we've seen at the trial. He trialled over 1,600 metres at Charton way back in February. Here is Kind of Cool. You can see he's under a decent hold here. He has to carry 132, but has won with 133 in the past. So, he has carried weight. Zach Purton aboard from a low draw. So, a likely favourite in this race, goes uh, nicely in his work. Uh, fighting star, I've quite liked his two runs here. He said this would be third run and coming to Happy Valley for the first time, he'd be at a decent price. And uh, Douglas White's done a lot of work with this horse and you can see him going nice. He did win over the sprint trip at Newcastle in New South Wales. And Nordic Warrior, uh, another horse who's been running really well recently, gets back and runs on late. You can see he's quite keen in his work here, but just a, a slow time overall. But uh, the horse is well and he did want to go a lot faster. All right, he's got a decent finishing kick, um, has uh, Nordic Warrior. He'll surely get back, even though from barrier seven. Let's have a look at Kind of Cool, Alcari and California Concord first up, Tom. Yeah, Kind of Cool last start, he was sort of uh, midfield, uh, made ground, hit the front uh, uh, out wider, but uh, was just uh, run down really over the, the final stages. It was a nice enough effort, I thought, uh, from him. Run down by Wind and Grass uh, there when he sped up to them. I didn't mind the run either of uh, Al Curry. I thought there was merit in his run from uh, way back in the field. Karis Teton and Ricky Yu. Yeah, and it kind of called Drew 10 then. I think he'd be a lot closer in the run from his lower draw. OK, what about um, Aurora Pegasus and Nordic Warrior flashing home from the back here, Paul? Yeah, so both these horses have been uh, quite consistent. Uh, Aurora Pegasus has run third in his last couple, and uh, you can see Nordic Wellstar with that finish, so you know what you're going to get. Just whether uh, there'll be enough pace in this race for him, that's what just worried me a bit. I did find a minor spot, though, for Aurora Pegasus. Yeah, certainly did as well. It was a blanket finish here. There were five or six across the track. It was a good run from Nordic Warrior. Didn't quite sneak him in. He's on a mark of 62. He's been very consistent. He was a winner three back. That was off uh, at 61, so we know he's more than capable. OK, final one we'll have a look at here is uh, Maboob. Uh, Tom, back at the trials? Yes, he's been back there. He's had three trials. We haven't seen him since the 9th of uh, December. He jumped uh, well enough, I thought, in this uh, recent barrier trial. You can see with uh, Matthew Chadwick over on the fence there with him, wasn't put under a whole lot of pressure. Typical stable sort of trial uh, from the boob there, Paul. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And he has been placed fresh up in the past, this horse, as well. So, look, I did find a spot for him on the minor line as well. I didn't mind that trial at all. OK, he's currently 10 to 1 at the moment, uh, Maboob. So we're given some sort of chance here in a uh, reasonably competitive-looking market, uh, Paul, but kind of calls a favourite. Yeah, look, he's in there. It looks like the one to beat, but I'm going to go with one of value here, uh, Fighting Star. I liked his track work leading into this. I've liked both his runs. And uh, he is drawn awkwardly in barrier 10, but I think just the way the race will pan out, he should be able to slot in midfield there. So he's trialled well at Happy Valley in the past. So at each way for them, what's he at the moment? 16 and 3.8. Kind of cool, the one to beat Maboob as well in there for third and Aurora Pegasus. 7, 1, 9 and 6. I think kind of cool certainly is the horse to beat in this race, so I've got him on top at the stage, currently the favourite. I don't mind El Kari in this sort of uh, contest. Aurora uh, Pegasus, I threw in amazing news. I was a fan of him after his uh, first run. Second run was just OK. A little bit disappointing last time out, but I thought kept on OK in a recent trial. So 1, 3, 6 and 5. Kind of cool for me as well. One and six, my cue there. Kind of cool and Aurora Pegasus. That leaves us with uh, race number nine. One more race to go, plus all the best bets. That comes up next.